Peppa Pig. I love you, Daddy Pig. What are we doing today, Daddy? Asked Peppa one morning. Today, said Daddy Pig, we're going on a surprise adventure. <gasps> Gasped Peppa and George, bouncing up and down in their seats. When Daddy Pig had everything ready, he called Peppa and George. Are you ready for your adventure? He asked. Yes, Daddy! They cried, giggling. <laughs> First stop, the supermarket, said Daddy Pig. That doesn't sound very adventurous, said Peppa. You'll see, Daddy Pig replied. Daddy Pig zoomed around the supermarket with the trolley. This is how you shop in style. He cried, dancing and juggling with the food, then rolling the tins down his arm and into the trolley. Peppa and George clapped their hands. Go, Daddy! Peppa, George and Daddy Pig filled the trolley to the very top. Plunk, plop, crash! I think that's everything, said Daddy Pig. I think that's everything in the shop, said Miss Rabbit. Daddy, said Peppa as they put the food in the car, I love shopping in style. Me too, agreed Daddy Pig. Next stop, lunch with Granny and Grandpa Pig, announced Daddy Pig. Lunch isn't an adventure, Daddy, said Peppa. We have lunch every day. Yes, but do you have it on the pirate ship? Ask Daddy Pig. No, said Peppa. Ah! cried George in his best pirate voice. Everybody hopped on board the ship for a special pirate picnic made by Daddy Pig. Goodness, said Grandpa Pig. This delicious food is worthy of the captain's table. Daddy, said Peppa. I love pirate picnics. Me too, said Daddy Pig, munching away. Where are you off to next, my little pirates? Asked Granny Pig. I need to do a spot of work, said Daddy Pig. Oh, sighed Peppa. Work's boring, Daddy. Not my work, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. My work is an adventure, he pointed over to Miss Rabbit, who was waiting for them in her helicopter. Ready to fly to work, Daddy Pig? asked Miss Rabbit. We are indeed, said Daddy Pig. Wow! gasped Peppa and George, buckling up. They waved goodbye to Granny and Grandpa Pig, and then Miss Rabbit zoomed them across the sky. Daddy called Peppa over the noise of the helicopter. I love going to work. Me too, called Daddy Pig. Miss Rabbit landed the helicopter at the playground. First, all the holes need filling with concrete, said Daddy Pig. Peppa and George sat in the driver's seat of a big, loud truck and poured concrete all over the playground. Daddy, shouted Peppa, I love pouring concrete. Me too, Daddy Pig shouted back. And now it's time to test all the play equipment to make sure it works, said Daddy Pig. Hooray! cheered Peppa, running to the seesaw. Whee! cried George, zipping down the slide and flying over the wet concrete. Whee! Where to next, Daddy Pig? asked Miss Rabbit. The fair, please, said Daddy Pig. Right here, said Miss Rabbit. At the fair, Peppa, George, and Daddy Pig filled all the holes with concrete. Then they tested all the rides twice. Daddy, said Peppa, I love the fair. Me too, agreed Daddy Pig. 
We have one last job," said Daddy Pig. "We must sign our work." Peppa, George, and Daddy Pig gently pressed their hands into the wet concrete. Now everyone will know who poured this amazing concrete," said Peppa. Miss Rabbit flew everyone back to the car. "Daddy!" shouted Peppa. "I love your job." Me too," agreed Daddy Pig. When they got home, Mummy Pig asked Daddy Pig how their day was. "Oh, just a normal day, really," said Daddy Pig. We did a little shopping, had some lunch with Granny and Grandpa Pig, and then I had to do a spot of work. He winked at Peppa and George. Peppa and George winked back at him. After their baths, Daddy Pig tucked Peppa and George into bed. Daddy said, "Peppa, I love." <sighs> Peppa stopped to yawn. "Yes, Peppa," said Daddy Pig. "I love you, Daddy," said Peppa. "I love you too," said Daddy Pig. "I love both my little adventurers." After such a busy day, the two little adventurers soon fell fast asleep. Daddy Pig said, "Mummy Pig," when he came back downstairs, "What are these?" She held up the pirate costumes, hard hats, and photos from the rides at the fair. I thought you spent the day shopping, having lunch with Granny and Grandpa Pig, and doing some work. Well," said Daddy Pig, and then he told Mummy Pig all about his day. Mummy Pig was very impressed. "I love you, Daddy Pig," she said. "You make every day an adventure."